Good afternoon, dear colleagues. And first of all, I would like to thank the organizing committee for giving uh, this wonderful opportunity to present the results of our study here. So uh, the study I'm going to talk about uh, was conducted in 2016-2017 in Kazan, uh, at Kazan Federal University, which is one of the uh, largest cities of Russia, of Russian Federation, and it was the order of the government of Russian Federation to find out, uh, to clarify some points of um, uh, tobacco heating system products. So the aim, uh, our aim was to study tobacco heating system, which was manufactured by PMI in uh, terms of its in, in vitro toxicity, as well as the changes of possible risks of smoking-related diseases. So uh, we have two uh, separate parts of this study. One was preclinical, uh, which was followed by clinical study, uh, which involved healthy volunteers. So in preclinical study, uh, we have two types of in vitro tests, one for assessment of cytotoxicity and the second for genotoxicity. So uh, let me show you uh, in brief uh, the main results which we had. So uh, for cytotoxicity evaluation, we used a few tests. One of them uh, was uh, NRU, uh, neutral red uptake test. And as you see on this uh, slide, on this graph, the relative cytotoxicity of the tobacco heating system aerosol, uh, both calculated per unit of product and calculated per unit mass of nicotine, uh, was uh, statistically significantly lower uh, than the same data which was obtained from the uh, reference cigarette. Uh, 3R for F cigarette was used as reference as control. When you used the, another test, uh, so-called MTS test, which evaluates mitochondrial activity uh, or mi mitochondrial potential of cells, uh, we got almost the same data, both um, in case of uh, calculation uh, per unit of product and per unit mass of nicotine relative cytotoxicity of THS aerosol was significantly um, uh, lower than cytotoxicity of reference cigarette. So uh, one of the uh, very important things when we um, consider uh, toxicity of uh, substance is the influence on apoptosis and necrosis. So we evaluated the level of uh, apoptotic, the number of apoptotic and necrotic cells and you see that the number of sticks uh, of tobacco heating system uh, which, uh, which were required to obtain the uh, aerosol, which can lead to the 10% uh, of cell growth inhibition, was uh, almost 13 times higher um, uh, than uh, the amount of uh, the same kind of sticks for reference uh, cigarette 3R for F cigarette. Uh, so, uh, two more tests which were used were uh, so-called AIMS test. We uh, used two modifications, one without metabolic activation, the second with metabolic activation. So, and we used five strains of Salmonella typhimurium bacteria. And as you can see, uh, the number of revertants uh, of the Salmonella typhimurium, uh, uh, both in case of tobacco heating system and the reference, 3R4F cigarettes, um, doesn't exceed the number of cells in negative control. That was a good result. However, in case of uh, reference cigarette uh, moist condensate, we observed a gradual increase in the number of revertons. So uh, we can s uh, s uh, suppose that probably uh, there is a dose-dependent uh, effect and possibly there is a presence of potential mutagenity at higher doses. When we um, used the modification of the same test, uh, which is AIMS test with metabolic activation, uh, we noted that in case of THS condensate, the number of revertons was uh, less than two times higher. However, in case of uh, reference cigarette condensate, uh, we observed that there was significant excess of the number of revertons, which was up to uh, two to 14 times higher uh, <coughs> than in case of other group. And uh, in case of THS, we um, uh, didn't notice uh, any potential mutagenicity, uh, while uh, with, increase, uh, with increasing of uh, concentration. However, uh, this uh, dose-dependent effect was present in case of reference uh, 3R4F uh, 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 samples. Uh, one more test which we used for uh, assessment of gene toxicity was uh, as a uh, source DNA repair uh, test, and we noticed that there were no signs of uh, source repair, so that means that uh, DNA damage was not uh, present. So this uh, test also proved uh, the absence of gene toxicity in case of tobacco heating system product. 
So uh, the uh, conclusions on preclinical studies uh, were the following. Uh, first of all, uh, in terms of cytotoxi cytotoxicity, we can conclude that uh, cytotoxic effect of the THS aerosol fractions, both uh, for regular and for uh, menthol taste, significantly lower compared to reference cigarette tobacco smoke fractions. Uh, in terms of genotoxicity, we can say that according to the results of source chroma test, genotoxicity and mutagenicity of the aerosol fractions of uh, both THS types, um, regular and with mental, are uh, significantly lower compared to the uh, data obtained from uh, uh, reference cigarette. And uh, mutagenicity was not revealed in the AIMS test uh, without metabolic activation on salmonella strains for THS but in case of reference cigarette, there was, a prob there, there was probably a dose-dependent effect. So the second block of our study, the second part was clinical study, and we uh, involved 60 healthy volunteers, healthy volunteers who are smokers, regular smokers. We, um, this study, uh, this duration was five days, and we randomized the 60 subjects for three groups. One was asked to quit smoking, uh, so this was the group of smoking absence for five days. Uh, uh, the other two groups, uh, they used either a uh, tobacco heating system or conventional cigarettes, and uh, just to be sure that they don't mix, we used uh, separate uh, smoking cabins for these two groups. And we analyzed uh, the group of biomarkers of exposure, both in urine and in blood, as well as there were some parameters which we used for safety assessment. Uh, including monitoring of adverse uh, events and serious adverse events. And there were some questionnaires mostly for evaluation of um, the amount of sputum and the character and the severity of their cough. So what was interesting, in terms of uh, carboxyhemoglobin concentration in blood, uh, so you can see uh, on this graph uh, the three lines which correspond to uh, the group of conventional uh, cigarette smoke, uh, smokers and these groups for uh, tobacco heating system and for smoking abstinence. And you can see that there is sig statistically significant difference between uh, conventional cigarettes uh, groups and two other groups. And this um, difference is significant starting from the first day of uh, our study. So uh, concerning nicotine metabolites, so we can say that um, in group of tobacco heating system, uh, nicotine level uh, or nicotine metabolites level uh, is almost the same as it was initially, and it can be explained by the presence of nicotine in this product. However, what was um, very uh, impressive and very um, uh, interesting to our mind is the decrease of uh, the content of mercapturic acids. So if we compare if uh, the content of mercapturic acids in uh, the group of conventional cigarette smokers, it al it's almost the same on the first day and the fifth day of uh, the study. However, in case of TH, uh, tobacco heating system uh, users, uh, on the fifth day it goes down and it's uh, compatible, uh, comparable with the group of smoking abstinence. Uh, to compare, just uh, to make it more visible, uh, if we look on this diagram, this is the day five, where we can uh, compare uh, metabolites of mercapturic acids uh, in three groups, and we can see that in both THS group and smoking abstinence groups, they are significantly lower than in group of conventional cigarette users, and if we compare these two groups between each other, we don't have any statistically significant difference here. So uh, conclusions on a healthy volunteer study can, could be the following. First of all, clinical and laboratory assessment, uh, which we used, uh, including uh, blood count, urinalysis, blood biochemistry, EKG, and monitoring of adverse events, showed, uh, that, uh, showed the safety of tobacco heating system product. Uh, and the use of or switching to tobacco heating system resulted in tendency to decreasing the severity and frequency of cough, which was evaluated by means of questionnaires, as well as decreasing the amount of sputum by the end of the study. And switching, uh, switching for tobacco heating system for five days leads to decrease of blood carboxyhemoglobin level, which was uh, comparable with smoking sensation for five days. And uh, it, um, this switching leads as well to statistically significant decrease of concentration of all merc mercapturic acids uh, and metabolites in urine by day five, uh, which was comparable with smoking sensation group data. And what was very impressive that on day five, mercapturic acids level in uh, the group of uh, subjects who switched to tobacco heating system didn't differ uh, significantly from the uh, smoking absence group. So uh, these data were almost the same. 
So, and the general conclusions which we made, uh, they are that both in vitro and clinical studies uh, indicate reduced toxicity and reduced exposure to toxic substances, which was usually found uh, in cigarette smokers. And if we compare these two groups, uh, tobacco heating system and cigarettes, we can say that uh, in the group of tobacco heating system, uh, we uh, showed uh, reduced toxicity by means of both in vitro studies and clinical studies. So the sum of uh, our results are already published in Bionan Science Scientific Journal, and we are working on um, some other papers right now. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>